Hi, Jen and Casey here, and today we're talking about creative cueing, and we're looking at the roll-up exercise. So classically, the roll-up is taught from the floor coming up, rolling up. That's what it's called, it's roll-up. <laughs> <laughs> but today, we're going to um, uh, kind of change it around a bit, because this is a better way for clients to find the articulation in their spine. So Casey has a TheraBand here that's gonna help support her on her way down. It's hooked over the balls of her feet. That's very important. And you want it to be wide. You don't want the, the um, TheraBand to cinch up. Now, you can always have people start with a little bent knee, right? So they can be right up onto their sitting bones. And this is gonna help the articulation of the pelvis and to help them find that flexion of the lumbar spine much better than starting with a super straight leg. Right. Because what you're sending the message of, um, you're sending the message to the spine of extension, right? And we want to send the message of flexion. So a little bit of bend in the knees is always nice. Now, we want the feet to be very, very active. The um, tighter you hold onto the TheraBand, the more support you're gonna have. So as you advance in this, you can loosen up on the TheraBand so it gives another little challenge to the exercise. All right, so first, we're gonna start um, just with a half roll up. So she's gonna take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, she's gonna wheel her pelvis back to the pillow, and her legs can straighten as she comes down. Good, now take a deep inhale here, and then on the exhale, rolling up and over your pelvis. Good, and then lengthening up. That's really nice because we want to make sure that those first lumbar vertebrae that are going down into the mat open up into the mat. So I'm giving her a little incline that she can plant her vertebrae and her discs into so we're sure that we're getting that scoop of the belly and that opening of the lumbar spine. Right, that she's not mm -hmm. skipping over that because you do see a lot of clients do that. Absolutely. So this is a great tool to use. Let's do one more. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, wheeling the pelvis back. Good, and she can take as many inhales and exhales as she needs. Nice. Take another deep inhale. And on the exhale, she's imagining that her vertebrae are pushing that pillow out from behind her to get her up. And then she finds the center of her sitting bones and she lengthens up. Very good. All right, so now let's advance this. So I'm gonna move the pillow back. We've already taught her lumbar spine how to open. So now, a little bit more challenging. She's gonna go, yeah, she's gonna go all the way down. So she can start in the same way, take a deep inhale. Exhale, the pelvis wheels under her. She can slowly start to straighten the legs if she wants. I can give her a little bit of feedback here with my hands. Good, and she's gently coming down onto that pillow. Great, and I'm gonna center the pillow a little bit better. Lift your head for me, because I want her to be nice and supported when she comes up. Good, now, a lot of people when they come up and out of this, they'll pull with their arms. We want the spine to do the work, and the arms are just the passenger on that locomotion of the spine. So she's taking a deep inhale, and on her exhale, she's gonna ear wheel forward, dropping her sternum, opening up the back of the body. Good, finding the sitting bones, and then lengthening up. Great, thank you, thank you. great. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.